I could not be more excited to do this. Um, these wheels have been sitting here for a fair few weeks now with tires on. Uh, I was waiting for these for a very long time. As you can tell, spring's a bit short because I've gone with air cups. Now I'm gonna do a lot less chatting this time because I really want these on. Um, and this goes for an alignment at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, which means I do have all day, but I've never fitted air cups to coilovers before, so that's gonna be a learning curve. All of this stuff, I have no idea what to do with, so that's also gonna be a learning curve. I may not happen in this video, but we'll see how we go. As I said, less jibber jabbering, more jacking up, and more getting this shit on. I'm so excited. So realization of, I mean, how long are one of these wheels for? 13, 14 years? I mean, it's fairly fucking obvious. What isn't obvious is the spec. Now obviously I'm doing this very much in the past because the fitting of these is filmed in a few weeks time. But you can be damn fucking sure I wasn't leaving these in the garage unopened. Now these are from Japan and I believe they're new old stock. <laughs> You're really low. Woo! Get the fuck out of the way. Right. <laughs> Would you like to see them together? Oh. Woo! TE37 Sonics. 16 by 8. Look at that nice little concave there. Uh, ET25, ET25, there you go. Produced in 2022, July last year. Brand spanking new, never seen a car. The second most expensive thing I've ever bought for a car. Even has the tags. <laughs> you're thinking, oh, Simon, you must know exactly what you're doing. Nope. 
I ain't got a freaking clue. Like I have done so many coilovers in my time. I have very, very much lost count. But <laughs> air cups, however, are very different. Um, and I don't really know what I'm doing. So what I've done is I've done ye old. Here's one I prepared earlier and I've actually done this off camera to try and learn what I'm doing. Hopefully what I'm doing is correct. So um, I'll uh, run you through it. If you want to skip this bit, I put chapters down below so you can skip to past the nitty gritty of this stuff, but it might be useful for someone, especially because all the guides that I found were slightly different. So maybe every coilover is a little bit different, but it's what it is. Let's get started. Step one. Uh, obviously remove that. Step two. Bit tricky doing this, <laughs> doing this by yourself. But it is what it is. Um, once you've done the nut and the washer, this will then slide off. Obviously this spring is a lot shorter than a normal spring, otherwise it would go boom, because this would be under pressure. Obviously I don't have that problem. The next problem I've got is I need this washer off. It's actually on there pretty tight, so I've got a little uh, hammer here. Just gonna give it a bit of a work around, we'll free it up. And then eventually, there you go. <clears throat> so then that releases that washer, making sure you keep these in order. Uh, so I've got those in order right there. There is then a, a spring washer, and um, I, you can't really tell, but that's broken, um, so this uh, clip but it does not work, so I'm having to do a bit of um, a bit of um, maybe look away, a bit of bit of that. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was fun. That went really well. Um, okay, <clears throat> so now that's on. Uh, you need to wind this down. So basically, what you're wanting to do is you want to drop the spring to allow space for this air cup. The air cup takes up about a couple of inches. So, now obviously you can adjust this uh, back up so I don't feel like this is a perfect science. It's not at all. Um, all right, uh, also don't forget the black washer which comes with it, which is here. <clears throat> so that goes on first, like that. Uh, spring into the perch. And then what we also have to do is there's a top plastic perch. Now, uh, that doesn't actually fit in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, um, but that doesn't actually fit uh, in there. Um, so, we have our um, massaging tool. Um, the massaging tool will be used to essentially, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this and we're gonna file around like that. You'll, you'll see what I mean, just fucking watch. Not here though, over here. I have no idea if I'm in shot or not, but um, then just work it, because it's literally just a couple of mil. Once you have that, that will then go in here. Um, again, with, with a, a bit of, um, Um, a, a bit, a bit of, a bit of persuasion. Um, if anyone asks, no, you didn't. Um, if, if, if anyone asks, if you saw it, um, saw what? Um, okay. Uh, all right, so washer, spring, put this on. Orientation right now, it doesn't really matter, so you're good. I'm seeing a slide that on nice and gently. And um, so then what's gonna happen is you're gonna, gonna go just past where the circlip would go. Um, so you actually need a bit more space here. Release a bit of the tension. So wind that down just a little bit more. Like that. Um, all right, so we are now down past the uh, past the little circlip. So put the circlip back on, uh, super simple. All right. And then make sure this washer goes back on because that's the top. Um, and then you have um, obviously the top hat. 
You then have the washer, and then you have the nut. And what I'm just gonna do is just make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, all right, screw that on hand tight. And then, ogaduga. All right, now what's gonna happen is there's a bit of play here. So what you do is you wind this sucker up. As you can tell, I have no idea what I'm doing, but you know, this is what, this is what the fun is, you know, just making sure, just, just having a bit of fun. Um, they should match. Mm, that'll do. So let me explain what I'm doing here because contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I've done this a lot. So basically what I've done is I've pulled the camber in um, as much as I think by eye it needs to come in. I've lowered it about 50 mil. Now I was guessing around 60 and I think my guess was about correct because I need to go down probably another, yeah, probably another 10 mil. Um, now, obviously, it's gonna sound really stupid, but each side will be slightly different, um, just because of the way the body gaps line up, the, the way the body work is. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to establish a baseline so that the other side is not like miles out. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking straight down the car and the camber doesn't, it needs to go lower, which will fix that issue a little bit. But what you also wanna do is come from the back. So I have rolled my arches. Um, fair amount actually, and I'm actually gonna have to trim the bumper a little bit, but. <laughs> um, so I've had a lot of questions about these air cups. So like, what do they do? Can you ride on them? So Q and A time. You cannot drive on these aired up all the time. They are just designed for short bursts of, oh shit, there's a speed bump. There's a dodgy driveway um, kind of thing. So basically in here, um, as the name would suggest, is a cup. Basically, when you pump air into it, it expands like this, right? Now you're probably thinking, but where does that gap come from? So right now, the car is jacked in the air and the suspension is at full droop. Now that is the key thing here, right? So right now I've got um, probably um, a couple of inches. Basically, when I jack this up, 
keep going, keep going, keep going. And then in just a second, the whole car will move. You ready? There you go. So between the droop and the car moving, that's the distance that the air cup gives you. So normal ride height, when I put air into the system, in theory, you get about that. It's not quite the full droop, but that's essentially so you can go over speed bumps and stuff. I hope that made sense. Now, toe is gonna to be out. <sighs> what are you, um, what are you thinking? What do you, what do you think that looks like? What, well, um, have a look. Tell me, um, tell me your thoughts. <laughs> oh. Isn't it, it's like super dumb that we get this excited about that? Just, oh. Also, if you're thinking he's not done them up, you are 100% correct. Because you need to put the weight on them and then do them up. Because otherwise what you're doing is you're compressing the bush um, with no weight on the car. And then when you put weight on the car, it actually twists the bush and severely reduces the life of the bushes. Like, I have to compromise, unfortunately, in Western Australia. So, um, for anyone that wants to know any more about that, uh, jump in the comments down below and I'll answer all the questions. But, unfortunately, it means I'm probably gonna have to raise it. I think, realistically, probably about five mil on the front and maybe about eight mil on the rear or something like that. Um, camber on the rear is actually perfect. So, um, I'm stoked about that. So, yeah, basically just kind of, just, yeah. So I'm gonna distract myself with a spoiler. 
But I didn't record that because that was an absolute shit show. As you can tell, this is a um, not genuine part. Um, they don't fit so good. Three of the four bolt holes line up. Um, but whatever. I've now distracted myself from the fact that I have to raise it and I think I'm just going to have to raise it. One down, one to go. And I just want to, for the record, let everyone know that I do not like raising a car. Let's see if I've ruined my life. Okay, for the record, YouTube, beautiful audience. Basically, you can't tell from there. Fucking come here. Come here, YouTube. Let me show you. Let me show you what's going on here. Okay, so basically, how I measure good fitment is so you see here, you can see tread on the side here. That, to me, is no bueno. But, we're in Western Australia, um, and it's my daily, so that's how it's gonna be, I guess. It looks fucking good. <laughs> I'm genuinely so stoked with how this has come out. Like, yeah, so stoked. Today's mission, headlights and get these air cups working. Six hours later. Um, I have some explaining to do. Um, I've been off camera <laughs> um, doing this because uh, I've had a couple of mates come. And yeah, just, um, just kind of hung out for a bit. Um, I would love to film that kind of stuff, but um, I need a better camera. Hauling this whole rig around when filming like more natural stuff just isn't, isn't anyway, I'm making excuses. As you can see, we're in. Um, it's all wired up. Uh, good mate Luke uh, came around, did the wiring for me because it really scared me. Other mate Chris came and helped me run the airlines and everything. So the airline goes underneath. Um, that's all this stuff uh, just over here. So yeah, it's all keyed on to the ignition. Uh, pressure sensors here. It's not pretty. Um, Soz for that. But yeah, it's in. Uh, you want to you, you want to see it in action? Okay, so this is obviously a ride height right now, and what we'll do is we'll key on, and then we'll push the button, and we go up. So you can see the clearance that we get. I'm not going to jam my hand in there, just in case we randomly air out, but uh, yeah, that's uh, at least a couple of inches. And then when you uh, air back out, down she goes, back to normal ride height. I could not be more fucking stoked. <laughs> Again, I'm a rubbish YouTuber. You will notice <laughs> new lights. So these are Cheese Specials. Cheese is a local headlight um, and general light genius. So I had him make these uh, in the background. You will also notice the bonnet is clear, clean, painted. Huge, huge shout out to Dennis Panel and Paint. I think I've shown this before, but this is um, an incredible board um, painted by Sam at De Dennis Panel and Paint. Also a huge, huge shout out to uh, Evolve Motorsports again for sorting me out with the tires and all that business. I just want to say I haven't had any kickbacks for any of this. Like I've paid almost full price. There's definitely been mates rates in there, but none of this is sponsored. I'm not, I'm not that, I'm a tiny channel. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm filthy, but I'm so fucking stoked to show you the final cliché. Before I ramble on, I want to see some beauty shots. Welcome back. I need to give some thank yous. First off to the four people um, that came and helped me throughout these few days. Also, everyone's using random things to hold their microphones, so personal steering wheel to flex on those people. Cheese for the headlights. Dennis Panel and Paint for the bonnet. They also polished and cleaned the whole car. They didn't need to nor were asked to and did it anyway because they're fucking legends. Evolve Motorsports for the tires. Uh, based here in Perth, and also the gentle fitting of said tyres, and also just being a dead set legend. Obviously, BC Racing and Stance Parts for coming to the party. Again, I paid full price for all of this, but they were supremely helpful with getting this sorted, and well, as you can tell, clearly my measurements were right, and their technical knowledge was correct as well. Uh, used racing parts for the seats, um, evasive motorsports for the steering wheel and other parts that you see that I'm holding, the shifter, we are likewise for the shift knob, like there's just a bunch of uh, second hand parts which I got off people, just yeah, a lot of people made this happen, this isn't just me, um, this is a multiple people journey and I just wanted to make sure that everyone, I've probably missed some people too, um, everyone was uh, duly thanked, but that's it, that, that, that's it, um, Thank you so much for coming on this journey. I fucking love every single one of you. 7,000 subscribers is, I love you all. Uh, I took a break from YouTube for a very long time and I can't promise I won't do that again. But um, I've loved doing this. It's been a challenge, but um, I hope you've enjoyed it. As I've mentioned, like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff, cringy stuff which actually does help us creators. Um, and I'm gonna put this steering wheel down because I think I look like a freaking dork. So yeah, um, just uh, in the comments, uh, tell me what you think, be honest. Uh, don't, don't worry about the seeker rear spoiler. Don't, don't worry about that and, um, and uh, I'll see you soon. See ya.